Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer for this Friday evening. Lovely that we are able to share this time together. My name is the Reverend Donna Peterson and I am the Vicar of St Peter's Anglican Church in Wynnum and I bid you welcome. We are praying the evening prayer service, the daily office from a prayer book for Australia in the Anglican tradition. Let's begin. Peace to those who are far off. Peace to those who are near. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our canticle, the Lord's servant. He was despised, he was rejected, a man of sorrows acquainted with grief. As one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Ours were the sufferings he bore, Ours the torments he endured. While we thought he was being punished, struck by God and brought low, he was pierced for our sins, bruised for no fault but ours. His punishment has won our peace, and by his wounds we are healed. We had all strayed like sheep, all taking our own way, but the Lord laid on him the guilt of us all. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Our psalm for this Friday evening is Psalm 52 and Psalm 53. Psalm 52 Why you that are powerful do you boast all the day long of mischief done to those that are faithful to God? You contrive destroying slanders. Your tongue is like a sharpened razor. It cuts deceitfully. You have loved evil and not good to tell lies rather than to speak the truth. You love all words that may do hurt and every deceit of the tongue. But God will destroy you utterly. He will snatch you away and pluck you out of your dwelling. He will uproot you from the land of the living. The righteous shall see it and fear. They shall laugh you to scorn and say, Here is one who did not take God for strength, but trusted to the abundance of riches and found strength in slander. As for me, I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I will trust in the goodness of God for ever and ever. I will always give you thanks, for this was your doing. I will glorify your name before the faithful, for it is good to praise you. Psalm 53. Fools have said in their heart, there is no God. They have all become vile and abominable in their wickedness. There is not one that does good. God looked down from heaven upon the children of Adam to see if there were any who would act wisely and seek after God. But they have all turned aside. They have all alike become corrupt. There is none that does good. No, not one. Are all the evildoers devoid of understanding who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not pray to God? They shall be struck with terror for God will scatter the bones of the ungodly. They shall, put no, they shall be put to confession because God has rejected them. Oh, that deliverance for Israel might come forth from Zion when the Lord turns again the fortunes of his people. Then shall Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Holy Spirit, sanctifier, cleanse us from all hypocrisy. Unite us to one another in the bonds of peace and love and confirm us in holiness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. James 1, verses 1 to 15. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispossession, greetings. 
My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And let endurance have its full effect, so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you is lacking in wisdom, ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given you. But ask in faith, never doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For the doubter, being double-minded and unstable in every way, must not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Let the believer who is lowly boast in being raised up, and the rich in being brought low, because the rich will disappear like a flower in the field. For the sun rises with its scorching heat and withers the field. Its flower falls and its beauty perishes. It is the same way with the rich. In the midst of a busy life, they will wither away. Blessed is anyone who endures temptation. Such a one has stood the test and will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. No one, when tempted, should say, I am being tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, and he himself tempts no one. But one is tempted by one's own desire, being lured and enticed by it. Then, when that desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And that sin, when it is fully grown, gives birth to death. The second canticle, A Song of the Lamb. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God, saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom of priests serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might, for ever and ever. Amen. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sin, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our prayer for this week. Almighty God, by whose grace alone we are accepted and called to your service, strengthen us by your Holy Spirit and make us worthy of our calling, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for the world and for the church. Let us pray for the preservation of the earth, giving thanks for creation and for all that we enjoy, giving thanks for rain that waters the earth and the sun that warms it, so that crops may grow, flowers and plants, so that the whole creation may flourish. We pray for places in our earth today that are suffering from natural disaster or those suffering from drought or flooding or bushfire or heat wave or cold snap. Lord, you give us the seasons to remind us of the ever-changing quality of creation. Help us to be in our season at the time of our season and trust that you have the goodness of our earth in forefront and help to teach us to be good stewards of that earth. 
Let us pray for peace and shared prosperity as we give thanks for the leaders who serve the common good in this country and in others. We pray for wisdom to those who have responsibility and authority in every land, in every place. We pray that we may have a just share of the resources of the world and that all people may have enough to eat and a safe place to live. We pray together for trust and good leadership for our government, federal, state and local. We pray for our nation on the cusp of another Australia Day. We pray for peoples that are divided. We pray for peoples that struggle with the concept of Australia Day. And we pray for peoples who think everyone should accept what they believe. We pray for this land and give thanks for the diversity of its peoples that come from every land in all the world. We pray for unity where there is division. We pray for understanding where there is misunderstanding. We pray for hope in turmoil. We pray for trust and a way to listen to each other and understand. And in the words of Psalm 139, we pray for all who are fearfully and wonderfully made in God's image. We pray for the church and its mission, giving thanks for all who proclaim the gospel of love and peace. We pray that we might love our neighbour, the neighbours we know and the neighbours we don't. We pray that we might love our neighbour, the neighbours we get along with and the neighbours we don't. And we pray that we might love our neighbour, the neighbours who are different or have different beliefs and structures to us and those who are the same. We pray for ourselves and our community, lifting before you our face, our heart, our lives, that you might bless and strengthen us, encourage us and love us. For the community in which we live, for the events for this week, both past and to come. We pray for those in need, recognising that the poor are always with us. We pray to give where we can. Pray always. Trust that you have everyone's heart in your best interest. We pray that we might have your heart, your patience, your wisdom and your gentleness. We pray for peace. Finally, Lord, we give thanks for those who've gone before us, those we love, whose faces we hold before you, those who were killed violently or unexpectedly, those who have died an untimely death, and those who have come to the end of a beautiful life and died peacefully, and everyone in between. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Light in our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of all grace, who has called us to eternal glory in Christ, restore, establish and strengthen us. To him be the dominion for ever and ever. Amen. 
Thank you for joining us for evening prayer. If you liked our service or you like what we're doing on YouTube, please like and comment or subscribe or contact us through our website, Facebook or YouTube. Bye-bye for now and God bless. If you enjoyed this service or this video, please like or comment below. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notifications of when more videos are available. If you need to contact us, you can contact us on Facebook or any of the details here on your screen now. Good night and God bless.